Japan's coach, Yuichi Nakagaichi, assisted by the veteran Frenchman, Philippe Bla. An opposite for the national team, played Barcelona all the way back in 92. Silvano Prandi, responsible for Bulgaria's last major medal at the Euros of 2009. A, a decade on, he's now 71, back for his second spell in charge with the wider purposes, really, of getting Bulgaria into the Olympics, which will, as we know, be in Japan just over a year from now. BNL here in Varna, week three, match day two, second match of the day, and on service for the host nation is the burly middle blocker, Svetoslav Gertsev. That's it from Dynamo Leningrad. We'll get us underway. Bulgaria in familiar green, Japan in black. And it's a dark moment. Ace off the first serve. Great start for Gertsev. Second serve is fielded. Japan get it down quickly. And Ishikawa, first opportunity to spike, strikes. Well, that's interesting because he started this match, Ishikawa, three points shy of a ton up in the VNL. So that lifts him to 98. Sakita on service, overpass, and a clever leave by Atake. He's got a touch of the showman about him, Issei Otake. Well, the foot did go up rather needlessly from Otake. It was just a little bit of theatre, really. It's resulted in a, a cheap challenge. But he's not afraid to do this early, just upset rhythms. Bulgaria's Italian coach, Silvano Prandi. A little bit of inexperience from Otake. And uh, if you're being really harsh, you'd say in discipline. Not something we can often accuse uh, Japanese sporting teams of in discipline. That right leg kicks up. It's an utterly needless net touch from Issei Otake. Two one then. Bulgarian point. The returning hero, Svetan Sokolov. ACL injury ruled him out of the world champs last year, the remainder of the VNL. But here he is back and on serve and dumping into the net. Two two. The grimace. World Championship player, Ishikawa on serve now. They've moved it to Penchev. It's a straightforward enough pickup. They work it to Otake, who crashes through the net. He's got to work on his follow through, Otake. Bulgaria block it back. Triple block. Very close to the centre line fault as well, even if he hadn't clipped the net. The set up. Ah, oh, the set was a little behind the winger. But it's a good adjustment to roll the point off the block. You see this, he makes sure of contact there against the arm of Krasimir Georgiev. Next on serve then, Akihiro Yamaushi. Another from Panasonic Panthers, and one of the tallest in the party at two metres four. Through the block, that's a good save. This third touch will have to come over. 
and Ishikawa did oblige. Sokolov scores off the blocker. The, a punchy play, tight down the line. Krasimir Georgiev now, the middle blocker, who plays for Rennes in France. They're scattered everywhere, these uh, Bulgarian players. Top-level experience in the, the big club leagues. Nice high set for the tap finish. He pitches that right dead drop on the, the attack line. No one could pick it up. Yanakida. Otaki goes long. Well, there's obviously talent, raw talent there with Issei Otake. But there's also a tendency to get overexcited and not channel. Up and down quickly, quick transition. Onodera, the middle blocker, up high. The swing low. Been very consistent in the VNL this season, Toshi Onodera. Shot through the block. Powerful hit from Svetan Sokolov, he'd love to land one clean. He'd love to see a little uh, bit of powder exploding off the surface. But you can keep winning the points ugly. Newcomer to the party, Atanasov hits it. Got Siv there, but he's shut down. Yeah, it's a, a bit of contact there. It's going to be okay. Is uh, JT Thunder Satoshi on Adera? Drift back to the service line here for Japan. 6-6 six, six here, first set. Bump for Penchev to punch. They're going to claim a block touch. The shot flew through and missed that far baseline. They've not gone with it. In fact, it seems like the referee overruled himself there. So 7-6, Bulgaria do lead, not for long. Side out, Japan. Radoyev pushes that cross court. Finish from Penchev. Didn't find the floor. Well, the hit is out from Ishikawa, but it got a block touch. And he's nearly there now. Well, I make that his 100th point in the VNL. Yuki Ishikawa. Leads Japan to our first technical timeout.
Well, there really is tremendous heritage in this part of the world and uh, tremendous love for the sport of volleyball. Olympic silver 1980, World Championship silver 10 years before that. That's when the event was here in Bulgaria. And a Euro silver, three Euro bronzes. But both Bulgaria and Japan desperate really not to be labelled nations who were, were strong once, some time ago. It's the here and now that's important for these two. been no world level medal for Japan since the Grand Champions Cup 10 years ago. Trading of side side outs at the moment. Actually been overtaken really in terms of their own backyard by the Iranians over the course of the last year 18 months have Japan. Atake goes for the tap, too much on it. Ratoyev will hoist it into Penchev, who has to step back to flop over the shot. Tap finish, well read by the Bulgarian Libero. And that's an absolute bullet, which they claim off the blocker. They're really riding the noise of this partisan home crowd, Bulgaria. Miscues do happen from time to time, though. In time from the right time of Svetan Sokolov. So the service is back with Yuki Ishikawa in Japan. Good service, well. Bratoyev knocks it back, and Penchev taps down into space. He spotted the gap there. He knew exactly where to hit them hard. Take that. Bima from Penchev. Two points in a row for the personal volleyball man. Throws over the shoulder for the spike and then follows it up with an ace. Just too hot to handle for Tashiro Koga. He's going again for his triple. Not quite there. It's a good pickup. Japan can't tap down, they can block back down though, in really dramatic fashion. Masahiro Yanagida with an absolute peach here. He just keeps moving. Stepping across, and then the uh, left foot comes back as he sets himself. And makes himself unbeatable. Akihiro Yamauchi now. Toyev! Disguised tip. Extra security measures though there for Japan. Penchev hits it. Stuff down at the feet. Toyev. Setting up the backcourt play. Over 11. Two blockers far side. It did the trick. Did the trick for Bulgaria. Gives them a lead of two. Krasimir Georgiev now. Tape, chance for a hit. Quick rally. 
Japan at 12 now. One behind. Well played again, Bulgaria. Smooth on the transition. And Martin Atanasov was the target as the wing spiker. Just a very clean attack here from the team in green. High set. They try the tap. Pedchev against the Tarke. The overpass is saved, and Atake makes sure there that Japan win the point. Off blocking fingers. Japan keeping Bulgaria tethered at one here. Squad captain Masahiro Yanagida. Toyev gives it to Sokolov. He makes sure. Well, that's Japan point. Sokolov was going very shallow there across the net. Japan built up. This is quickly disappears again. Bulgarian four, a wing spiker, a Tanisov. Set for the backcourt play. Pechev on the wing. It's against the blocker, and that ball spins away for another Bulgarian point. They've re-established this gap of two, this lead of two here. And it's time now for our second technical timeout of the first set. On the resumption, Bulgaria holding service. Martin Atanasov will try to avoid the curse after any uh, timeout, technical timeout, stoppage for any other reason. He's failing to land the service. Gets real power behind that. Koga with the bump. The block comes back. Oh, and it had a high loop on it. Bulgaria will hope that it caught the far end of the paint. It's going to be a challenge from the... Well, whoever loses out on the award, the referee's award. So they've given it to Japan. Brand is challenging. Out. Onodera 
He's one of ten in this squad. He was there at the uh, World Champs last year. Resumption then, Japan trading by a point, not for long. <laughs> Stuff through. And Japan up to 16 now. They're starting to believe. That's a Sakita serves. The toy will have to save this. Beautiful angle on the finish. The movement as well, just to get into position. And then the execution of that touchdown. Atanasov with real light and shade to his game. Really opening out the court. Super point. Tvetan Sokolov. Way too heavy. Shikawa serves very deep. Penchev, nice bump. Sokolov just had to throw it into space, really. And uh, Bulgaria's best hope there is that the spike is long. Block touch challenge here. That was the immediate reaction. So often the case that you can read a lot into the reaction of the players right in there and on the spot. Bratoya wheeling away there, immediately looking across to his coach, Brandy, and others in the hope that the challenge will be lodged. It will be 19-17 or 18 all. Psychological pressure points and deals with the setback better. The referee has seen the images that he needs to see, and now it's his call. There's the contacts. No block touch there. Happened so quickly. Challenge is being challenged. So now we've rolled into an in out call. So no block touch. And then the Japanese have to argue whether their shot being clean was in or out. 
1917 is the upshot because the hit was out. Didn't get a block touch on the way through. So Bulgaria on serve, Rosalind Penchev. In steps Koga to retrieve it. And Japan just tighten the shoulders, puff out the chests, go again here. Push set and a, a good high reach on that for the touchdown from Yamauchi. Ratoyev, that rolls through the double layer block. Go to. Matana solves the man. Just flaps over the top of the ball. Make sure there's enough for rotation through the shot to carry it into backcourt. Now, Georgiev on serve for Bulgaria. It's a good one, it's a very good serve. Oh, he lays an ace on the pile there. Krasimir Georgiev. Top spin there. Sending it down and into the court, making it unreturnable. And you have to be more aggressive in block. Oh, okay. you can get out. Huh? If you can make bad two with him, you do it. Yeah, the voice you heard there was uh, that of Philippe Bla, the veteran the Frenchman volleyball legend, 59 years of age now. Philippe Bla, but uh, the previous Euro medalist in his playing days. Took them to the Asian Championship title in 2017, did Bla. 21 plays 18, first set here, and it's been an engrossing set in Varna. Pratoyev. Oh, touch off the block. Yeah, it skids away and out, but never mind. Atanasov is on a right old roll here. Kupan have called a, a timeout. Atanasov up to four for the match now. He's tugging at the heels of Rosalind Penchev. Whipping up the crowd is this Bulgarian performance. They're closing in on this opening set. Always the danger, the rollback in the excitement. It's such a great level of that pressure on serve, particularly after a stoppage. So 22 plays 19 now, first to 25, of course. It's the best of five sets, so first to three. Oh, they bring in the server. Ratoyev now, as the Japanese switch their defence, tap finish, they're still in the game. Wonderful from Ishikawa, just dabbing gently. Yanagida, back-to-back points here for Japan. 
It was very TV savvy. Into the net. Oh, the tape helps it over. Keita sets it. There's the finish from... Well, it was the 11 who got there. Nishida thought for a minute Bratoyev had picked that up. It was a fabulous finish. And it would have been a, a heck of a pickup as well. Three points in a row here. For the Japanese. Now it's Salvano Brandi's turn to dish out the instructions. Momentum is the watchword here for the Japanese. Masahiro Yanagida picking off some really fine serves here. It's another good one. Can Bulgaria control the rally? It's a hit into open court. Atanasov does it again. Well steered that by Bratoyev, getting into position and then finding Atanasov. Two blockers there. But he's unstitched them. Three set points for Bulgaria. We might need all of them as well. So at least the Japanese side out, so can in theory control this rally. Paishi Onodera to serve. And it's long. And Bulgaria take the opening set in Varna. It was a really competitive affair, that. 25-22, so a three-point set. Bulgaria found an unlikely hero in Atanasov just to get them through. Mistakes are plenty, though. Bulgaria won't mind about that. They've taken the opening set here in Varna over the Japanese. Five twenty-two. The first set finished in Bulgaria's favour. Thirteen attacks apiece. One block apiece. Superior serving though from uh, Bulgaria. Eight 
errors. So the error can shared out. Rosalind Pinchev, Sveto Gotsev, Krasimir Gurgiev were responsible for those three aces for the Bulgarians. It's a set on the board and it feels good. So, after an opportunity for a quick break, just want a refreshment. We'll resume here with set number two in Varna. Teishi Onodera will serve for Japan, who lost that opening set, 25-22. White the finish that time from Sveto Gotsev, transition from Japan. And Gotsev gets across to be the blocker. And it bounces out. Monadera get another serve. Toyev reverses the angle. And Japan get the break. The lucky looper found open court on the Bulgarian side of the net. So that's two to nothing. Nice high set, tap down. Ratoyev read it superbly. Monster block there. Japan rip roaring out of the blocks at the start of set two here. They're attacking and they're defending with such vigor. And players like Masa Sakita, oh, 1 meter 85 of him are getting high to, to block attacks then you know you might have to tweak if you're the opposition. Well, that's a, a start and a step in the right direction from Svetan Sokolov. Why the old fox, Silvano Brandi. Comfortable point off the arms of Nishida. Vestar Gotsev, now he was part of the Bulgarian squad that won the European Games volleyball gold in Baku in 2015. Good hit that, but it's a splendid pickup off the takedown from Nishida, and the block comes back. Yamauchi with a super piece of defending for Japan. Commitment to the cause there from Yamauchi. First with that save, and then watch him get back into position. Yeah. Swift and slick. Georgiev there to finish it. His third point of the match. Service of Sokolov, Japan try and play the pipe attack. Perhaps the right idea, but just when you're mid flight, when you've taken to the air as Yannick Eden did there, and then you try and adjust your shot, shot selection. Perhaps he was going for the pump. In the end, he went for the placement with the open hand. Sokolov. Another good serve from Sokolov. Off the block, though, Japan score. 5-3. Six points then for Ishikawa, moving him to 103 for the competition as a whole.
That was textbook for Bulgaria. Penchev with a missile. Overpass from Bulgaria on that second phase. Trying to isolate the, uh, the blocker there in Bratoyev, who couldn't control that piece of defence. So it spins out and away again. Service from Yamauchi, bumped back into play. And then a rather flat shot cut down onto the tape there from Sokolov. No messing around from Nishida, though, to end it in style. That's a torpedo. Penchev on reception, and there's the Libero, oh, just trying to confuse Japan with the angle of the set. Atanasov was the target, and Bulgaria looked to have just moved up a gear now. Realised that they're in a real match, the way Japan have started this set. Back on serve, Bulgaria. Krasimir Gurgiev, high toss on it, good pitch as well. Set to wing side, into the net and back. I'm not sure blocking arms were required there, because Yanagida mishit his attempt. There's the push, yeah. he doesn't clear the net. Gurdjieff goes again from the service line, forces the Libero to sprawl, block back! That's the way to do it again! Sveto Gotsev there for Bulgaria, making himself very big on the extension of the arms. And that movement right to left as well, got to time the speed of that too. Bulgaria dug their heels in and they've got level. Super serve. In the circumstances, that's quite a reception as well. Cogga gets low to bump it up into back court. They can control this. Shot comes through, and we'll get down on the floor for Matanasov, who's got great attacking numbers here on the percentage. Martin Atanasov. Well, that's four straight points. They've come from nothing. They've come from nowhere in this second set to lead us to our first technical timeout. It's 8-7. Such a strong look. Eight seven Bulgaria. Second set. They have the first set under their belts. The serve next is Kratomir Yurgiev. 2 meter 5 middle blocker from Ren. Side out. He 
Kenji Nishida now, who made his debut at last year's VNL. Okay, the youngest player ever to hit 30 points in a match. That was against Argentina. Dual block working on Adera and Takano. Well, this is going this way and that. Now it's Japan who lead. 9-8. Overpass. So Japan are in the ascendancy in this rally, and the pipe attack reaps rich rewards. Yuki Ishikawa. Very reliable. Kilometers an hour here. That's the weaponry. Ten eight for Japan, a topsy turvy second set. What a service by Yuji Nishida! Oh, he's used the the full dimensions of the court there, corner to corner. He cracks home an absolute beauty. First ace of the match for Japan. Adera have had three, tries again. Oh, Patoyev saves it. A deep hit on that first phase attack there. Gotsev will try and palm it into back court. Japan come again. And now they're four clear. Nishida once more, harnessing all this positive energy that suddenly hit them. An air of bewilderment around Bulgaria's players, and I dare say the support inside the arena as well. Oh, yes, on the diagonal. Two out of three aces from Yuji Nishida. Take a bow, sir. Well, Silvano Prandi switching it around. First choice setter comes on, and Uchikov. Man who uh, was scoring all the points in the absence of Sokolov. He's drafted in as this second set threatens to slip away from Prandi and Bulgaria. Hit from back court, and you've always got a chance because it's a more difficult shot to get right, to pitch home. And Atana Saab, who was previously nailing everything, is the latest to miss for Bulgaria. Nikolai Penchev, so, slots in for Atana Saab now. Wink spiker. Sooner or later, there's a miscue on Japanese service. Now, it's very important for Bulgaria here to hold service. So, Nikolai Uchikov has been uh, leading the way for the points for Bulgaria in this competition, goes in with the serve. And that's a, a strong out. This is the way to claw back.
So Wuchikov on service again into the tape and back. And they have just stemmed the tide now. And this is why the timing of the substitution is so important. Because Uchikov is finding holes in that Japanese back line. Bulgaria's top scorer in the VNL. Uchikov. Wojciechow, who has 84 points for Bulgaria in the 2019 BNL. The most recent of them have been significant because they've allowed Bulgaria to get back at Japan in this set. Bulgaria controlling the latest rally, overpass. Seganov is in a setter. Oh, they'll hope for the block touch. Which way is it going to go? So it's been uh, given a, as an out here. Not sure there was a block touch, was that? The clean out. Bulgaria will hope here. 15, 12, 15, 11. First one sounds not too troubling at all to the trading team. Second doesn't sound great. times so it's an in-out call then on which number is the dice gonna land through it's clean isn't it no touch well that's a, a good chance a big chance there not taken from Bulgaria in the end it was a bad miss by Gertsev which is they wanted Hawkeye to help them Takano on serve Takes us to where we were. Here comes Nikolai Penchev at the service line now. Played in the World Champ squad last year. On to the next. We're back to a gap of four again. And it's Japan who are on the right end of it.
We settle down again after the second technical timeout of the second set. Japan have turned around the course of this match. Uchikov, second touch. So third is bumped over, and it will be all Japan now. Yeah, they'll kill. They had all the time in the world to just size up the opportunity there and watch the positioning of the Bulgarian blockers. And in the final shake-up, Yamauchi cracks the scene. Taishi Onodera. One way back for the Bulgarian host now, trading by five. Penchev with a push, now Uchikov goes long. They just can't get the ball on the floor all of a sudden. Japan getting every bounce and break. 18-12. Sometimes those float serves drop. They just keep on going. No libero needed. With Bulgaria on serve. Got save. Plants the ace. His third of the day. Very good from the baseline, Svetoslav Gotsev. There's so much reach on that. But you have to deal with it high. You're almost a shoulder height there. Gotsev tries again. This one's low, overpass. Committed Japan forward. And the punch down. Bulgaria's engine is purring now. It's motoring again in the second set. Penchev claims the point. Momentum now. That's the thing for Bulgaria. Better reception this time, stuffed down. Japan keep it live somehow. Gotsev gives it to Penchev. They look like a block touch through there. 16 plays 18. The initial reaction of the referee was to give the point to Bulgaria because of the block touch. Here's Rosalind Penchev, will slow it down. I think there's a clip off the fingernails almost of Masa Sakita. Shrewd timeout just to bring the excitement levels down inside the arena. Well, before the timeout, the service game of Gotsev was firing on all cylinders. Is it still? As so often happens, the flow is broken. They couldn't get closer than two. So now the diminutive Masa Sakita. A setter from Sakai Blazers is on serve. Good height on the serve. Oh, transition for Jurgiev. 
That's a no-nonsense piece of finishing high over the top of the net. So a quick, speedy side out here. Second off with the set. And now with the serve. Japan with that high line, blocked back into the net. They bumped it up again. Third touch has to go long from Japan. Then Seganov, he'll give it to Penchev, who will score off the block and get Bulgaria back to within a single point. Well, credit here, Silvano Prandi's team. When they've needed to show a bit of grit and steel, and just to up the dials a bit, turn up the notches, they've done that. Still another push to get level, though. Saganov will try. Back set. Front court defence working. Oh, and then he went for the Hollywood finish, Rosalind Penchev. And perhaps it was the wrong call. Draws back the right arm. And goes for the missile. Down the side of the block. He got the first bit right, but... Not the accuracy. Quick serve, block comes back! Oh, wow, it hit Krasimir Georgiev, and maybe that's the moment when you think, well, it's probably not going to be our set. If they can't score off the quick AB, then... Perhaps it's time to rethink. Ishikawa, strong service. Seganov, Uchikov gets uh, repelled, and uh, Japan up to 22. Prandi will call a timeout now. Got to within one, and then back come Japan. Ishikawa's serve is good. Uchikov tries to spike it cross court. Fabulous pickup by the Libero. And they score again off the block. This time from Naya Takano. They're all managing to work out for themselves the way through the Bulgarians. Japan up against it. Naturally, here is the challenging team against the hosts. But they've shown real character inside this second set. Uchikov now tries to hit it. Nothing's going for Bulgaria. All of a sudden, all the stars are aligning. And Japan are about to level up the match. Joint top scorer, Ishikawa with... Nishida on eight. Rolls over the serve, it's a good one too. Penchev tries to tap, but the triple block pushes them back. There's space to get the ball on the floor for Ruchikov. It's a, a stay of execution. Rosalind Penchev is taken out of the rotation. Todor Skrimov was absolutely fabulous yesterday. With 22 against the Australians, did Skrimov. 
And uh, on service there, unable even he to delay the inevitable. And that is the second set being snappled away by the Japanese. The 25-19, it was pretty comfortable in truth. 1-1 one, one then, here in Varna. Bulgaria need to pick themselves up. Didn't have the level of consistency across that set that they uh, displayed in the opener. Very interesting matchup here, though. One one between Bulgaria and Japan. Third set to come. We're good to go then for set three here in Varna. Japan have just levelled up this pool intercontinental pool match with their Bulgarian hosts. Bulgaria took the opener 25-22. Japan expansive play and really managed that second set well to take it 25-19. Best of five, so first of three. No one can straight sets and win this now. Bulgaria on service. The start of set number three. Nikolai Penchev of Oniko, the 27-year-old, with a ball in hand. One of the most auspicious of starts. Penchev, brother in the set up, the set up as well. Penchev, brother of Rosalind and Nikolai. Loose on serve from Japan. Errors then at the start of the set. Next up to serve, Theodore Todorov, part of the Euro bronze medal winning squad. Silvano Prandi's first spell in charge 10 years ago. 
second off. Gives it to Skrimov. Now they'll hope that he can start firing again. Skrimov is absolutely outstanding against the Australians. Spike height. He belies his 1m91. 348 spike in a block of 330. Points being traded. Off service. Eighteen year old Nishida. Well, it's only inevitable the longer the match goes on, the more tired the players become, the more mistakes will creep into play. Burley Uchikov now at the service line for Bulgaria. Back set. Front court block there. Steered it into the uh, back zone and just allowed Uchikov to run round the outside and trammel the point there for Bulgaria. Fluid move. Uchikov timing his run and his jump to tip top perfection. To remain on serve. Into the take that time. Transition. And the pickup drops out from the stand in Libero, Vladislav Ivanov. Next to serve for Japan, Noya Takano, newcomer the squad since the back-to-back -back Asian Championship triumphs of 2015 and 2017. Uchikov. Yeah, misfires again with his spike, can't clear the net. We have seen it on occasion from him. Seganov gives it to Uchikov, who bounces that against the palm of Yamamoto. No picking that up. Skrimov serving at 5-4. Too heavy is Bulgaria just need to rein in this desire to be aggressive from the service line. Bonadera, he's got a serve behind him. Penchev, cross court, and the joust. Yeah, it's a push. There's always going to be a challenge here from the team that were a judge not to have won that point. It's almost where the ball is held above the net in the middle of the joust, and whoever's should have got the hood spar to just claim the wipeout, really. The ball drops Japanese side, and taking it on the chin. Japanese it's 6-5 here Bulgaria remain on serve block back into open court the momentum threatens to shift again he's happy to be the recipient of the high fives Teodar Todorov There's the hit, and it comes down Bulgarian side. On another day, that drops the other side, but not there. Masa Sakita serving. Comes down the line from Penchev. 
Goes inside out there, Penchev. Interesting tactic for a, a right-hander. Wing side. They're all set to go cross court there. He just spots the gap. It's a very good shot, actually. Past the triple block and then also down on the floor next to Masa Sakita, Japanese 12. Setter, Seganov is now the server. Eight six Bulgaria on the resumption, hands on the block. So they uh, steer the attack and score with Skrimov. Well, he crashed through. Net fault here. So off the set from Seganov. Oh, what a save that is. If it can be dumped over on the third touch. And Seganov, oh, they've shoveled it to the opposite. Not taking the chance in that rally. And instead, through the merest of gaps, the shot is threaded by... Yuji Nishida pretty much through the eye of a needle. They enjoyed that one there, Japan. Really taking this contest now to their Bulgarian hosts. Nishida gets his ninth point of the match. But Japan can't build on it. Not for Bulgaria the lead back. hit was long, it's quite obviously out. Back set, power play there. Nishida as the opposite again, showing all that promise once more. Goodness me, he's got a shot on him. He's got so much power for such a, a pocket player. Getting 105 kilometers an hour through that spike. Yamauchi. Second off, tries to set up the transition. Bulgaria blocking back well. They've remembered now how to block. Nishida will go again. Great power on it. Magnificent steerage, though, from Bulgaria. Uchikov tries to pitch that on the attack line. Now Nishida taps. Fabulous save by Ivanov. Oh, and it comes back again. We have a mega rally that's won with a monster block from Skrimov. That was absolutely fabulous. Ebb and flow. Chances created, chances not taken on both sides of the net. And finally, Skrimov spreads himself to make the block. Every inch of the court being used. And Ivanov takes marks as well for a fabulous dig mid rally. Third attempt Nishida had to try and crash the ball through. Good 
right, but now we have to score. Huh? Okay, so the next one. Theodore Todorov serves. A high float on it. Has to be a tap over. Richikov. Oh, they've done it again. It was that double block of Skrimov and Gurgiev. I think Gurgiev takes the plaudits this time. After Skrimov was credited with a defensive touch at the end of that last rally. Whatever working in perfect harmony there and blocking well for Bulgaria pipe finish well worked to Ishikawa taking height taking flight taking the fight back to Bulgaria Nine points for Nishida today. Good serve as well. So you can pick the points off easily off the overpass if the service is good enough. Sakita, just as Bulgaria struggled to organise the defence, so good was the service. Requirement is that Nishida does it again and again and again and again. Scrimmob will try and hit this. Look how far back those rear court defenders have set themselves because they know Scrimmob has the arsenal, they know he has the power. To get really on that baseline. Now then, the veteran Tatsuya Fukuzawa in for Nayoya Takano, the 32 year old, most capped member of the squad. for the finish, he's gone a little long that time, Yuji Nishida. A little long, block touch challenge. It might be a hopeful one though. <laughs> Nishida, it seems, as surprised as anyone that landed so far out, almost the disbelief connected with it, but uh, I couldn't have hit it that far out without a block touch. It affects the trajectory. A massive talent though, Nishida. On the under-19 Asian Boys Championship in 2017 in Myanmar. Past the first blocker, nor the second. Clean out. Get a rare mistake. Uchikov serves for Bulgaria. Back set, and there's the throw down. He's trying to push. Into the corner now, Yuji Nishida. Back-to-back -back attempts have uh, resulted in back-to-back -back mistakes. So they go for Otake now, a different threat, a taller threat as the opposite. And Nikolai Uchikov will continue on serve. Oh, through it comes, off the tape and over. Uchikov will celebrate the ace. All smiles all of a sudden, now they're leading by five. 
second technical timeout of the third set. And Bulgaria are getting back into party mode. Thanks to the serving of Nikolai Uchikov, Bulgaria have steadied their ship here. Back in control of the match, in control of the set. Uchikov serves very long and heavy. So 16-11 becomes 16-12. Fukuzawa made his debut back in 2005. He played at the Beijing Olympics for Japan. Now, this happened yesterday. A service line fault called against Tatsuya Fukuzawa. side out there to Bulgaria the lead is back to five as Skrimov on serve tries to control the rally Skrimov with that bump Seganov will set it Penchev will try and hit it but it's blocked back in fine style by Onodera there's the obvious height differential there as you've got Onodera all two meters one of them to get past Akiro Yamauchi the tallest in the squad at two meters four. Japanese with an average height of 188. Near the tallest in the VNL by any stretch of the imagination. Uchikov taps over. Sakita back set for Osai. Spectacular save there. Shot comes long. I think he's called the block touch. Bulgaria take it on the chin. It's an obvious out. But uh, the Bulgarians have not bothered disputing that. Seganov. Nice quick set, but no kill from Jurgev. Now Seganov will give it to Skrimov, who doesn't miss those. Real strong hit from Skrimov again. Fabulous technique in the extension as he opens out that body to give him the, the maximum force through the shoulder swing. Very high set, which gave Yuki Ishikawa an awful lot to do to try and get over, over the set and direct the shot downwards. So Ishikawa will sit out the next rally then. And we're seeing Masahiro Yanagida come on. Japan. Let's pick this serve up from Krasimir Yorgiev. An overpass. There should be someone to put a name on it. Penchev, yeah. Inside the paint, back court. Safely does it. Nice and tidy. Controlled attack from Bulgaria.
five more points needed for Bulgaria to win the set. They're six ahead. Five points needed and five ahead now. Maximum run up. All that run off room. They left it sensibly. Service fault. There's a throw for the wing spiker. That's a monster block. Cross court by Nikolai Uchikov. I thought that was the moment there when they'd isolated Isai Otaki. And he was just going to pick off the point. But Uchikov there with a, a magical piece of defending. 22 place 15. Bulgaria blocked down again. 23. So just two more needed now. Uchi Nakauchi calls the timeout. Coach of Chaumont in France, Silvano Prandi. They know a lot of these players. Club C, both from that club and uh, just the European. European C. Turns the best. Zigano. Serving at 23.15. Japan prolong the set. Yanagida dumps the serve into the net. And Bulgaria now at set point. Hungry are they to move into that two sets to one lead? Got eight bites at the cherry. They've done it. 25 plays 16 in set number three here. So Bulgaria have restored order in front of their rowdy home support at the Palace of Sport and Culture in Barnet. Japan stunned the arena really with the the victory in set two, 25 to 19. But Bulgaria were in pretty ruthless mood there in the third. No one yet into double figures, the point scorers for the uh, Bulgarians, but it's scoring from all areas. Rosalind an Penchip leads the way on nine. 2 1. Bulgaria just one more set needed to take the match.
Bulgaria on the way then to victory number 22 in 32 meetings with Japan. We're at the start of set number four here. Japan need to win this to take us to a decider. Bulgaria need just this set to register more BNL points. Last words from the coach, Prandi, to his players before they cross the white line. Japan will serve first in this fourth set with Akihiro Yamauchi. Taganov gets it to Uchikov, unable to get the ball down on the floor. Yeah, there's a bit of upset there, I think. The Japanese player Fukuzawa is into courtside official. So opening point then for Bulgaria in this set. They'll look to make it two, but that's one apiece instead, thanks to Fukuzawa. The man with all the history. He's used more sparingly these days, 32 years young, but the most capped member of the squad. There with a very timely spike. Nishida delivers the service. Seganov gives it to Skrimov, who is as reliable as ever. Todd will scream, I really like him as a player. Just a, a clever player as well. For the match today for Scrimov, it's three. Quick set, pushed forward as well, but Onodera's attempt came back. And then the cross court. Bulgaria are able to pick up. Scrimov smashes that against the left-hand side of the triple block. He hit it against Fukuzawa. He just knows how to win points. He knows how to win rallies. Todorov serves. 3-1 here, Bulgaria. They block back, it's out. Off Uchikov. Because I was there for the experience now. I'm afraid there's a lot of mistakes creeping into his game at the uh, ripe old age of 32 for Fukuzawa. Nikolai Uchikov, something of a, a national icon in the Bulgaria, he nets that serve. Uchikov, he's married to a high-profile female Bulgarian volleyball player as well, Vesela Bonsheva Uchikova. Taishi Onodera takes over service for Japan. Grimov smashes that down against Fukuzawa. He's winning these points ugly for Bulgaria. And I don't think it's any great surprise that they've started firing. They've started looking more reliable as an attacking threat since he was rotated in. So Sokolov perhaps tired a little. He's off court at present. Skrimov on serve. And the shot is threaded through the gap. Japan hit back, not letting Bulgaria pull further clear than the margin of one. 
capable of moments of class like that. Noya Takano. Now Masa Sakita serves. A nice pitch. Tarnasov, clever contact as well. But Japan able to score through the block. Changes the angle of attack at the last moment there. With Spiker. And Masa Sakita pulls that serve. 6 5. The Bulgarian, that is. Dresimir Yorgiev now. Power serve, gets it down low, left side of the court. Yeah, power shot. Nishida making sure that he scores the point, they get the point off the blocker. Play that across the open arms of Nikolai Penchev. <laughs> gets a nod of approval from Yuichi Nakagaichi. An under hit service though for Takano. Bulgaria won only two of their first nine encounters with Japan. That was between 1962 and 74. But between 94 and 2018. Last year's BNL meeting, they last 22. They've won 19 of those. Seven all here. Down it goes there from Penchev onto the floor. And we'll retreat for a technical timeout. 8 7 here, Bulgaria. Seven Bulgaria on the resumption, tap through, and Fukuzawa claims the point there for Japan. It'll be eight all. Let's see if it's into the surface fluid, a lot of sweat down there on the surface of the court. It has to be removed from time to time. Ishida with 12 points to his name today. In it goes, through the tape, rolling and spinning over, dropping like a stone for the ace. That's one, if we were playing snooker or pool, you just go up and tap the side of the table to say, well, I know it hurts, but it swings around a bit. Oh, 
And you have to commend the way Philly Blair and Yuichi Nakagaichi are marshalling their Japanese troops here. Every time they threaten to be cut adrift here in Varna, against the host nation, no less, of this uh, pool. They dig in. They find a way to win points back. Now they lead here in the fourth set, 9-8. Oh, it's another ace! Back-to-backers. First one was clean. Concertina threw the tape and dropped for the floor touch. Second, they couldn't bump back. So he goes for his triple. Yuji Nishida. And he's done it! What service line play from Yuji Nishida. That's three of the best. Absolutely superb. The power on that and the spin. It goes flat and then dies as it reaches the airspace of Nikolai Penchev. The five aces for the day, three in a row. Oh, he's not going to notch number four, is he? He went to the same corner. It's another very good serve. Uchikov is pushed back, then Seganov and Skrimov. Back set! Nishida, oh, off that service. Bides his time in the rally, runs round the outside and is effectively there, the Japanese sniper. Appearing at the window, no one knows he's there, picking off the opposition. Where has this lead of four come from? Atanasov is back in. Bulgaria haven't scored since they took us into the technical timeout. He's gone through again. He scored again from the service line. Nishida. Wow. Ace number six in the match. And Bulgaria just don't quite know how to stop the service play. Defense situation, yeah, defense situation. For everybody, defense situation. Yeah. Quiet. Because he touched, he touched net, net, he touched, but react and then cover, cover the attack. Cover. No. The most aces of anyone in BNL history. Lincoln Williams, Graham Vigras last year, Eagle Filipov for Australia, Canada, and Russia. Six in a match. Nasheed is on that right now, but we've still got plenty of volleyball in this match yet. Nasheed goes through, he's done it! Seventh ace! And Bulgaria just don't know which way to look. They cannot stop the 18-year-old sensation, Yuji Nishida, from destroying them on serve. Seven now. Aces from the swing of Nishida. Through he goes again. Wow, he's hitting everything. Uchikov, it's blocked back. Bulgaria are rattled here. They're trading by six. There's a, a touchdown. They can't get the ball on the floor. The block back, though, might start the comeback. Might start making them feel better about the entire situation again. Nice music to hear when you're up against it. The monster block jingle. Eugene Ashida has set the service bar very high indeed. 
Bulgaria blocking back. The chance there for Fukizawa. Sensible one. Playing the shot off blocking arms. Making sure that he wins the point. Bench back the fingernails of Georgiev. The error counts high in Fukuzawa's column. Seven points today for Uchikov. Hell of a save that. Pushed over on the third touch quite wonderfully there by Atanasov. He's landed it, Nishida. He's got another. 20 points now. Brilliant performance from Yuji Nishida. He is a star for the future. And he is the one they could maybe build the hopes for Tokyo 2020 around. So remember, the youngest player ever to hit 30 in a BNL match, Nishida. He's up to 20 now today. Big lead now for Japan to hold on to. Onodera on serve. Atanasov. A quick set. That's a very snappy punch finish there from Martin Atanasov. More of the same needed. Multiples off. Getting high over the double block. Tanasov of Chaumont, delivery of the service, tap over. Finding all the right shots at all the right times now. Nakagaichi's Japan team. Nakano gives himself five points for the match. Masa Sakita to serve. Tenchev on reception. Quick set into Georgiev, who makes no mistake. So a point back is fine, but holding serve now the challenge. We basically need to find an Ishida to rock Japan back. Entirely sure Georgiev is that player. Third touch, yeah, turned into a loose ball, the overpass there and was snapped up by Yamauchi, he's just gobbled that plate clean. Japan at times playing like the whole nation in this match. Just what could stop them in this set? Seganov, overpass, he tries to shovel it back down. They're trying that a lot now, the tap finish. Yamauchi, but it's shoveled back up for the pipe finish, and that's a very lucky bounce there. Lucky ricochet for Bulgaria, they don't care. They still celebrate to the rafters. It actually hits Kuchikov's thigh there. Loops over. Yeah. 
Yeah. Fukuzawa, wing side. Splitting that front court combination and using the decoy. Fukuzawa really with a straightforward task of steering the shot past Uchikov. 19-13, this rolling lead of six being protected by Japan. If they look to take us into a deciding set. Penchev hits it, scores through the block. So 19 plays 14 now. Nikolai Penchev comes in to serve. He has five points for the day. Back set, tip finish. Nishida, that man again on hand. Oh, the Bulgarians must be sick of the sight of this player, Yuji Nishida. He's got the power, and he's got the poise as well. Could serve them all the way to the set here. Atanasov, oh, he spotted the gap. Intelligent from Atanasov. It's the subtlest of shots. Japan. Hitting back with the tip of their own. Haku Lee now rotated into serve. Who, along with Toshi on Adera, they were the first choice middle blocking partnership in each of the first two legs. He has seen minimal court time here in Varna so far. Ace! All their different servers are contributing to the party here. He only came on for two and a half minutes yesterday in the first match. Straight in here. But there was a serve, gets an ace off it. 22-15 now, so the lead is seven. The chance for the hit. And rolled out of the back of the palm. It's another tip finish from Yuji Nishida. And at the moment, he's just got everything. Nothing is stopping Yuji Nishida. 23-15. Haku Lee continues on serve, but he pushes that wide. Went very deep as well from the service line, Lee there. Look as our back in the rotation, just to try and get them through the tape. Butchikov serves, rather oh, flat, but a lot of power, a lot of fizz came through the net, or, or through the tape, over the top of the net. Very competent defence, though, managing backcourt very well. Onodera cuffs that down to deliver them set point. And the mines are already grossed in trying to work out how to win the decider for Bulgaria because the deciding set we will be heading to. Butchikov tries to hit it, comes back at them, not directed though.
Skrimov on serve. Strong serve as well. Chance to end it. Block comes back, and then it's Nishida who dishes it up. We run out of time and room and everything you need, really. Japan there. So, strategic timeout here. Just take care, Brad Schotzer. Just take care about this. Okay. Keep cool, you have a side out, one side out. Huh? No precipitation, you manage the block, you have all the time to do it. Okay? Todd will scream off then. Bulgaria looking to take this set on. That's a pair of set points that have gone astray for Japan now. They've got themselves to the verge. And now they just need that final finishing kick, the Japanese. And they get it off the service mistake from Todor Skrimov. So we will go into a first of 15 decider, and it really is extremely impressive the way the Japanese have refused to go under here at the home of their hosts here at the Palace of Sport and Culture in Varna. Bulgaria won the first set 25-22, 25-19. Japan won the second. And it looked like... Uh, it would be one-way traffic as Bulgaria won the third set, 25-16. But a fabulous recovery from Nakaichi's uh, team. He's taken this one through to set number five. Brilliant serving as well from Yuji Nishida. Fourth set. So they took it 25-19. And on we go.
a late finish here in Varna. Approaching 11 p.m. local time. We're at the start here of the deciding set between Bulgaria and Japan. Fine performance from the Japanese who showed real grit and determination to come back twice, take us to a decider. The Bulgarian hosts for the second night running have taken the distance. It was Australia who pushed them all the way yesterday. Bulgaria did win it 15-13 in the decider. So, away we go then, set five, the decider. Joust at the net. The overpass, it was a directed overpass though by Penchev, who then gets in for the block. Bratuev will set it, gives it to Skrimov. Tries to just pop one out of the back of the palm. Super attempt there. Rutoyev, they go wing side, Skrimov, and there'll be a call for a net touch. Bulgaria get the point. High quality rally. Bulgaria in charge of it, but Japan defending. And they get their rewards there with Nishida making the mistake. They've done so much to force this deciding set. Theodore Todorov continues on serve. No. Can't clear the net. Two metres eight. Theodor Todorov needed a bit more height on the serve there. Yamauchi at the service line. Japan desperate to avoid the loss of four straight matches in the VNL for the first time. Would be harsh on them the way they've dug in today. A lot of mistakes from Bulgaria. Japan working hard again to win the rally, to find a way to win it. The three previous defeats, by the way, as well as to the Italians yesterday, they were beaten in straight sets by both Brazil and Iran. At the end of their Tokyo leg last week, defeats on week one as well in uh, Serbia against Russia and France but they've managed to win one match on each week so far against the Serbian hosts in Novi Sad and then uh, beat Argentina in straight sets last week service error from Sokolov Silvano Pran has been very sparing with the court time that Sokolov has had here. Of course, match sharpness is going to be a factor when you've been out because of a bad injury for as long as he has. Sir punched into the net. It's a dangerous Nishida again. Well, Bulgaria naturally have to stop the service of Nishida as soon as is humanly possible. Going to be a block touch challenge here. Point was given to the Japanese to clean out. That was the initial interpretation by the referee. It'd be right to have that interpretation. Ivano Prandi hopes that there's a Japan touch. No touch, so the correct decision was made to begin with. Bratoyev! Cross court, that lands. Big point. Big point that for Bulgaria. So, they've stopped the service of Nishida. 
and their own beaming service Skrimov now overpass opportunity here to level up at four all which they take the Penchev partnership Nikolai there getting the score Grimov into the net that time, 5-4. The third of the target reached in the set for Japan. Just go up to 15 in the deciding set. You have to be too clear though. Haku Lee, fine dipping serve, sensible spiking play. Round the outside by Sokolov. Fully functioning as the opposite again now for Bulgaria. Six points for the match. Well, Japan two and five after seven in the VNL. They won three of their first eight last year to match that tally. Requires a plundering of Varna. They believe they can do it though. They're 6 5 now here in the decider. <laughs> Off the block, down and the wrong side of the paint. Really, it's the same as the Australia match. Quite extraordinary, really. Bulgaria taken the, the whole nine yards, but then when the pressure's on and when the spectre of a home defeat against the side you're expected to beat comes into view, that's when they start to switch on again and pick their game up. Japan looking to go one better than the Aussies yesterday, though. Masa Sakita serves. Sensible leave. Seven all, and the all important side out now. Through the block, down we go. Japan restore their advantage. Quick set. Really, it's been an engrossing contest. Bulgaria won three of their first seven in the last year's VNL. Identical record here and now. They lost match eight in 2018. That was against the Italians. Match nine for them this year is against Italy, and that comes tomorrow night here. The late match at the Palace of Sport and Culture. Whatever happens in terms of the outcome, the score at the end of this. Bulgaria would have been in, in two gruelling encounters, two gruelling five-setters. Last night was uh, two hours 11. And he must be in that ballpark in, here and now in this match. Todorov on serve there. Eight all here in the decider. Tap down. Oh, he was bubbling. Now he's warmed up for Kozawa. Really clever shot. Controlling the power. It's 9-8 here for Japan. 10-8.
Bulgaria struggling on reception. Silvano Prandi calls a timeout. The danger signals are sounding loud and clear now. They're getting their money's worth at this Varna leg. A very knowledgeable volleyball crowd in these parts. And I really appreciate the presence of the Japanese here. Hard working. And at no little amount of talent on display as well, particularly from the massively impressive 18-year-old Nishida. One point set. Sokolov ensures that Bulgaria have their side out. And Prandi's team on serve with Seganov. From Piangyo, formerly of Argos Volley, another who's plied his trade outside of Bulgaria, the 25 year old setter. Picked up by Yamamoto, the libero for Japan. Skrimov one-handed over the top. Nishida goes low. And Japan up to 11. The lead is two again. And he's bettered his individual performance against the Italians from last year, Nishida. He's been absolutely brilliant again today. 25. And that's the points total. 17 off the attack. Seven aces today for Yuji Nishida. Now Bulgaria ready themselves for another onslaught from the service line. Defended it. Skrimov, it's punched back. Oh, is that going to drop over the top? Japan in charge. Nishida punches through. The point is called for Bulgaria, though. Bringing us back to one point in it. So there's the back set. Attack line fault. The exuberance of youth. No idea who's going to end up winning this. Skrimov, cracking service that. There's a save, tightened on the net by Yamauchi. And from that retreated starting position, Nishida flops the shot over the top. Japan blocking monster style. Oh, the fire is in the eyes now, and they sense a real upset here in Varna. Fukuzawa really switched in. They're working in unison, they're working in harmony. Oh, that looked to be long. Bulgaria playing with fire here. The award is to Japan. So the call is a clean out. And as uh, sure as night follows day, Silvano Brand is going to challenge this. Nothing to lose now. So the in-out call. 
call. It missed. It missed. Challenge overruled. And Prandi's team really are two points away from defeat at home against Japan. So Haku Lee on serve. Pratoyev shovels it to the opposite. Sokolov looked it, looked at it, stared it down. Well, they're not celebrating, are they? They're just very much in the mode of uh, damage limitation, damage management here. Have to hold, otherwise this is Japan's match. Krasimir Yurgiev. Needs a good service. Good reception. Set for Nishida. Down it comes. Match point. Fittingly, it's the brilliant Nishida who's got the Japanese to this point. Now remember. Japan haven't beaten Bulgaria since 2011. Silvano Brandi calls the timeout. As they're facing down a match point just to upset the Japanese rhythm and the Japanese flow. And you can't blame him for that. This ball, say down. We need to say down. Uh, I repeat, against the officer because the uh, officer is over because he goes diagonal. Match point Japan here in Varna. Ratoyev. Oh, up for the quick takedown. Yep. Teodor Todorov. But we're in the end game now and they need more of the same, the Bulgarian hosts. Todorov. Nice elevation to score his fourth point of the match. Ratoyev on serve now. An argument that that would have floated out. Here's Nishida to try and win it. Joust. Japan try and tap it down. Penchev pushes the shot into the corner. Pipe attack. The block comes back though. And Bulgaria go again. What a time to find a monster block. Absolutely brilliant that from Nikolai Penchev. They're relaxed. We go on to 17. So B and you. Just watch this. You see, both of them is late to go on right back. A couple of match points have come, a couple of match points have gone. Would it be third time lucky for Japan? Real opportunity here, Nishida finds open court, but no, there's a fault. Oh, attack line fault again from the exuberant youngster. Yuji Nishida, he's got the technique and talent, hasn't he? But the timing of the attack and the, the discipline not to rattle the net on the way back. It's a very hopeful 
call here. So I don't think uh, a challenge has been implemented there by the uh, Japanese. It's going to be a timeout instead. 14 all. Japan has plundered three match points here. Fourteen all, we go again. Bratoyev, oh no, he couldn't hold his nerve on serve there. Japan will have a fourth match point in Varna. Oh, the expression that says it all after another energy sapping night in the Palace of Sport and Culture. Ratoyev with that set. And the shot pummeled through. Sokolov again doing what was necessary in the situation. Reception. Punch up there from Sokolov. Who wants to hit it opposite side? What a save! Not quite on the second touch, despite the best attempts of Yamamoto, the libero. And what a twisty, turny set. Don't quite know how we've got to this point, but we have. Match point Bulgaria. After Japan have wasted four of their own. in danger of being given the Australia treatment after Bulgaria somehow won last night's match. <laughs> the pressure too much for Nikolai Penchev, who tries the float serve and can't even get the basics ticked off. Ishikawa serves into the net and over! Oh, Bulgaria pancaking through, what a time there for Ishikawa to pick off his first ace of the match. To set up a match point. There might not have been a full touch there, in fairness. But they're at match point again here and into the net. Oh! No one quite wants to win this one. That'll be match point number five that the Japanese have squandered now. Set from Sakita. Nishida in, but no kill there. Joust. Bulgaria scrambling in. It was the back set for Skrimov. Now then, a centre-line fault has been called there, so a foot has gone astray. And it's gone over that centre-line into the opponent's court, so Japan are challenging this. Just who erred? That's the big question. Various tapes are rewound. There's always an element of drama and theatre about Hawkeye, but what about at times like this? Two sets all, 17 all in the fifth.
entire foot's over the centre line there, isn't it? Quite clearly. So that is a fault. Japan have another match point. It's their sixth. 18-17 now. Very good spot by Yuichi Nakagaichi. Rueful smiles being worn by the Japanese players. Akihiro Yamauchi now to serve. Can they do it now? Match point number six. No. Bulgaria save another. This is quite incredible. Quite incredible in Varna. Sokolov with a big hit there. 18 all. Sokolov on serve, I tell you what, he, he's netted. Match point number seven for Japan. He's the one you want, Nishida, to win it. No, not quite, high set, Sokolov. Bundles that there into the midriff of Ishikawa, who rebounds it back, but not over. It is a super spike at that time of the match. Real chance for Bulgaria now because Skrimov serving. Oh, curse of the commentator, dumps the service into the net. All of a sudden, it becomes the hardest thing in the world to land a serve. Match point number eight for Japan. Tap down. Oh, they've got the touch on the first block here. There's a chance for Nishida. It comes over the top, bounces out, and Japan have beaten. They're Bulgarian hosts. The Palace of Sport and Culture in Varna is left in stunned silence. The expression from Brandy says it all. Because Japan, they had the superior staying power in the decider. 21-19 in the fifth set. They won it on their eighth match point. And they have put together a terrific win here in Varna. Bulgaria are beaten. They went to five 24 hours ago, the host nation. They got the right result then against Australia. But it hasn't happened tonight. They've been caught out at home and have been beaten in front of their own support, in their own manner, by the Japanese. What a wonderful five-set victory for Japan here in Varna.
Story of an engrossing encounter then. Japan out attacking their Bulgarian host 58 to 51 in the uh, final shake up. Blocking was uh, largely even. Confirmation then of uh, a stunning result. Japan beating Bulgaria here in Varna. So two thirds of the program here in the Varna leg of the VNL and the final matches on Sunday. Tomorrow will be Japan against Australia and then Bulgaria against Italy. It's been a great day today. See you again tomorrow. Bye for now.